All right, can you guys hear me and yeah. see my screen? Good. Yeah. All right, so the integration with Maya, first of all, let me just <laughs> preface this by saying that it's not at all comparable to what you just saw with uh, the work from Joachim. It's just a hard act to follow. But also one of the reasons why the, the, the work in, in Maya is limited is because you know it's expensive to buy Maya and work with Maya and all of the requests that have come in for the simple model have focused on Unity and Blender. So I'm really happy to see the, the progress that uh, uh, Joachim has made, especially because he's the, the expert on this. And I'm really happy that he's been working on these amazing solutions inside Blender and Unity. With that said, so, okay, first of all, let's talk about why we need the plugin for, for Maya. So by default, the, so just to give you guys a basically a visual understanding of what is happening inside of Maya when you run the plugin and also maybe in Blender and Unity. So by default, all the animations in Maya use LBS or DQBS. Both of these methods essentially cause this elbow or like joint collapse issue um, that you can see in the image in the bottom here, like uh, with the items that are highlighted here. So simple is trained specifically to use LBS or the QBS uh, blend skinning as the base animation layer. And then we use a layer of shape deforming blend shapes on top of the LBS animation to fix these joint, joint collapse issues. So that's essentially the power of, of simple as you guys know. Now, the simple model itself is not, not yet a default animation standard, not in Maya or Blender, but we've essentially made sure that all the elements that go into the simple model are all compatible with the standard animation pro, uh, software such as Maya and Blender and Unity. So first off, actually, yeah, first off, if you actually create an animation uh, for the simple, a simple animated file, which is usually a, an FBX file, if you use it, if you create it in, in Blender or any of the other tools that you heard about today. So these files, you can just directly drag and drop into Maya and they should already have all of the corrected blend shapes added to them. It should work right off the bat. So you won't have to do anything with the Maya plugin. The plugin is specifically for when you are creating a simple animation yourself from scratch. Let's say you load up a simple default model the, in, in the T pose and you want to start creating an animation uh, or load up an animation for retargeting from some other source. Or if you have an animation and then you want to manually tweak it in some, some places, then you need the Maya plugin, or finally also some, some of the stuff that, that uh, Joachim sh showed in, in Blender is if you want to resize the Maya body, uh, the simple body inside of Maya, then you need to re rescale the joints and that can also automatically happen with this plugin. So you can, where do you download the plugin? You can find it on the simple website, the simple uh, academic website. It's also available on our uh, GitHub page, but the easiest way is just to go to the wiki. And so the simple wiki essentially lists all of the, uh, all of the ongoing progress with, on, on the simple model. We will be also adding more of the information as, as we go along, uh, more, more resources to this wiki and also the FAQs from today's session here. So you can, here you can navigate to the model tools here. We have all of the scripts available and you can go to the, simple in Maya script. Here you can, of course, a good practice is always to look at the licensing. The licensing actually defines both the kinds of usage with, uh, for academic and, and commercial use for, of this model. So you can review that if, depending on the use, on, on the kind of use you have. Um, and then simply just download the, the, the zipped file of the code. Let's say we open this. So here, now the next step, step is the installation. So you have the zip file and I, I, I already unzipped it. Here you see, this is essentially the Python script is the Maya plugin. This is the entire plugin script. And there are some 
model files so that it is compatible with simple, simple H and simple X. We're working on the star integration as well. That should be soon because that will make the model so much more compact and lighter to use in, in Maya and Blender as well. So for installation, first of all, you just, well, for Maya, the, the simple uh, way of using plugins is that you can just put any new plugin that you've created into the Maya plugins folder. And here, I think I have it open. Yeah. So for me, for OSX, it's inside of the user's shared directory. I'll just copy all the contents for now, making any directories. So now in my pre-opened Maya, can you guys still see the screen? I've switched to a different screen view. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So here I already preloaded the, the simple mesh inside, inside of Maya. So you can see there's a male and a female mesh. The reason to do this is essentially Maya actually takes a little bit longer to load the models than Blender. It is a bit slower in loading the blend shapes. So as you can see, talking about the blend shapes, but this is the default male. It does not have any animation already added to it. And here in the list of blend shapes, you can see it has 10 shape blend shapes. These are the body shape variation. And the rest is the 207 pose variation blend shapes that, that we use when we're applying pose differences when we're animating. So here to load the to load the plugin, we can just simply go to Windows the, the, and, and the plugin manager page. Here, since I loaded it already into the plugin folder, as soon as I refresh, it shows up that there's a simple Maya plugin. I can set to load, and here it, it, it has shown up this Maya plugin. So there are three different items in the plugin that you can do, the three different types of ways you can use this plugin. One is the topmost is if you are reposing the mesh, the model for a single frame. So let's say I just want to repose this arm for, for one frame, and then I want to apply the corrective blend shapes for this elbow collapse issue, then I can do that. Or you can, uh, if you have a range of motion that you've applied, so let's say I, I animate, make a whole animation for like some certain number of frames, so I can put the number of frames here and I can, it will, and then apply the post correctives. And then the third is, of course, recomputing the, the skeleton. So when I change the pose, the shape parameters of the model, we can update the skeleton. So I'll go through those quickly. First is just this reposing a single joint, let's say for a single frame. Here, elbow, elbows are the best to use for this example because this exemplified the issue. And hence it is, that is why it is also called an elbow collapse issue sometime. So let's say I key the pose in this specific, uh, for this specific joint. So this is locked in now. I just want to apply the correctives for this and there. So just to show you guys the difference here is the difference. I don't know if zoom is correctly showing. I'll do it a little bit slower. This is no, with looks the fine. It looks good. Awesome. And then Let's say I want to make it so that the joint goes back to zero, let's say after six frames or so. So what you see here is it has applied the correctives. These are the correctives on the body shape that are applied for a folded elbow, but these should not, these should automatically get updated for the straightened elbow. So let's key in this pose again. And here I can just tell it up to seven frames, let's say. Can you fix there? So here, now you'll see, as I'm reposing, you'll see the changes. And I'll also show the how it's changing within the, within the post correctives list. <laughs> here. So you'll see these these post correct these are the post corrective that are being updated as we as we update. All right. Now just to quickly also show how the shape parameters can be updated, we can go back up to the body shape. So just to let you guys see it clearly, this is the full body right now. 
Now let's say we want to change the first principal component by some value. So now you can see that the joints are much bigger. So I just changed the first principal component, which basically scales the body up and down for simple. And here, what I want to do just to, okay, I'll make the mesh a little bit invisible so that you can see as the joints are updated here that I just clicked the button to update the joints and it, it re resized the joints. Let's just try it again for the other <laughs> direction. And once again, you can see that the skeleton is peeking out of the body here. You can recompute and it should. So that's, that's essentially in a nutshell all. Is there still more time to show any animation? But we have or, or I could, we 15 can, seconds. I think, <laughs> no, that's not enough time. <laughs> but yeah, we are definitely working on, on more support for, for the other animation platforms as well as Maya. But the request, the, the request for Maya specifically, you know, dwindled down once we had more support for Blender. But if you guys are interested and anybody in the audience is interested in more support for Maya, just get in touch and we'll be able to sh share more things. Thanks, Noreen. Perfect timing. We are right on time. And now for the exciting part, not that everything else wasn't exciting, but the next exciting part, 